DC3 is a cyber center of excellence for digital and multimedia forensics to the Department of Defense. The six lines of capabilities at DC3 are digital forensics and specialized cyber training, digital forensics lab services, research and development, test and evaluation, cyber analytics in support of law enforcement and counterintelligence, information sharing to the DIB, and vulnerability disclosure. DC3 not only supports the law enforcement and counterintelligence uh, community, it also supports the cybersecurity community. DC3 is a bridge and really helps to support the information sharing and sharing of cyber capabilities to go against cyber threats. CFL is a full service ANAP accredited digital forensics lab. Our capabilities extend beyond the normal digital forensics model. So our examiners are very well versed and very esoteric and uncommon hardware. Well, we recently did a case involving a Build-A-Bear teddy bear in which we had to recover the uh, voice recordings off of that bear. The bear was damaged. We actually had to buy a Build-A-Bear and then recover that data using the donor device to restore the original evidence. There are other cases where, for example, we've had instances where we've assisted law enforcement in extracting data from automobiles and we were able to give key evidence such as when the car doors were open, which seats were utilizing the seatbelts, and at what rate of speed the car was going at at a particular time when the piece of evidence was thrown out the window. We are the first and the only federal DOD agency to begin a vulnerability disclosure program. The way the DOD vulnerability crowdsource ethical hacking program really is innovative is that we're allowing them to use the same tactics, techniques, and procedures or TTPs that the adversary is using. However, they're using the TTPs for good. They're doing hacking for good as opposed to an adversarial or malicious content. Since 2016, we've had over 3,700 unique individuals from 45 countries submit nearly 45,000 vulnerability reports to the Joint Force Headquarters, DODEN, and U.S. Cyber Command protections via the DOD VDP. So DICE is the operational arm of the DIB cybersecurity program operated by the DOD CIO. Our mission is to enable and enhance the DIB partner's capability to protect unclassified information that either reside or transit across their networks. What makes our mission unique is our partnership and our relationship with the DIB partners uh, enabled us to better understand their needs, uh, the capabilities and services that we can provide them to help protect against threats to their networks and their environments. DICE is really looking forward to the opportunity to expand our offerings and services across the defense industrial base and across U.S. government partners. The Cyber Training Academy was set up in 1998 to develop best-in-class cyber training for the defense cyber investigative components in the areas of computer forensics and computers so that new people in the field would understand computers all the way through how to do it in cyber investigation. And it's a sense evolved from there into more and more complex tools, te uh, technologies, and techniques to do that. The Cyber Training Academy's role in developing the cyber forces for the nation is primarily in two pieces cyber forensics training, which will go all the way from basic introductory training through network training on there and gathering items of evidentiary value of different um, network devices, witness devices, and computers, and then having the tools and technologies to examine them for an intrusion or a crime. The second component in that is that we also offer defensive cyber operations training. It includes discovery and counter infiltration or intermediate cyber core. And these are all courses that US Cybercom uses to help train the cyber protection teams. We help develop in concert with Cybercom and we offer to all the defense uh, cyber components. DC3 is unique because of our people. We are composed of a very rich and diverse skill set, experience, and background. Our members come from civilian life, military, law enforcement, and counterintelligence. All of that provides a very rich uh, product that we provide our customers because of those experiences and skill sets. What excites me about uh, DC3, especially in the innovative space, is uh, cyber is dynamic, especially within digital forensics, and really working not only within the Department of Defense, but across academia and others to really go after those capabilities and, and issues that we have against cyber threats. 